ஹலோ வெல்கம் பேக் டு லேர்ன் ஃபிசிக்ஸ் இன் டுடேஸ் டாபிக் வி ஆர் கண்டினியூவிங் வித் த தேர்மல் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டிஸ் ஆஃப் மேட்டர் இன் லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ வி லேர்ன் அபவுட் த ஹீட் ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபர் தட் இஸ் கண்டக்ஷன் கன்வெக்ஷன் அண்ட் ரேடியேஷன் அண்ட் இட்ஸ் அப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் ஆல்சோ வி லேர்ன் ஓகே டுடே த கண்டினியூஷன் ஆஃப் ரேடியேஷன் தட் இஸ் இன் தேட் சாப்டர் ஓன்லி அ ஸ்மால் போர்ஷன் இஸ் லெஃப்ட் அவுட் தட் ஒன் ஓன்லி ஐ வில் டேக் இட் இன் திஸ் கிளாஸ் ஓகே ஸோ தட் இஸ் நியூட்டன்ஸ் லா ஆஃப் கூலிங் ஓகே நியூட்டன்ஸ் லா ஆஃப் கூலிங் ஓகே ஸோ வாட் இஸ் திஸ் நியூட்டன்ஸ் லா ஆஃப் கூலிங் சி about cooling only the law is that one you understood right law of cooling so what is that say if the temperature is very high and it is about to lose it is starting its uh, lose it starts losing its temperature what is the um, kind of heat transfer or the temperature in which way it is reducing okay that one as we will be understanding with the help of newton's law of cooling see if we are boiling some water and keep it at one place then we can see that it will reduce its temperature fast till 40 degree celsius 50 degree celsius and all the boiling effect will be losing very fast hasn't it that 100 degree celsius to 80 degree 70 degree 60 degree and all it will happen very fast but after nearing to the room temperature then after that the reducing the temperature loss of temperature will be very less that is amount of loss of heat energy that one we are studying here in this newton's law of cooling okay this so is the heat energy loss this i told you about the temperature loss isn't it t2 to t1 100 degree celsius to 80 degree celsius it will come fast okay but 100 80 degree celsius to 70 degree celsius also it may happen very fast then 70 to 60 degree and all it won't happen that much fast okay the rate will be varying okay so the the rate of this temperature difference is depending on which factor it is that is heat energy is losing over there isn't it the, so the rate of heat loss or gain that will be directly proportional to the difference in temperature rate of heat fl- dq by dt the rate of heat loss it's losing losing means i'm representing it with a negative sign so rate of newton's law of cooling only isn't it so heat is losing over there so i'm giving it with a negative sign okay rate of heat loss is directly proportional to the difference in temperature t1 was the initial temperature now it became t2 okay so it is proportional to t2 minus t1 okay so the rate of cooling is directly proportional to the difference in temperature so minus dq by dt will be equal to k into t2 minus t1 so this temperature difference is t2 minus t1 rate of heat loss t2 minus t1 whether that it is depending only on the temperature but no it is depending on the area of exposed portion how much it is area is exposed see if we are keeping a uh, or boiled water in a big vessel or in a small glass same amount of water in a small glass or if i am keeping it in a big vessel which one will be getting cold a cooler fast yes big vessel because exposed the portion is more over there in a glass means exposed the portion is very less isn't it so it is depending on the exposed portion and the nature of the substance see if i am taking a um, 
which material i am choosing iron and wood if i am considering whether both will be leaving the heat energy in the same manner no it will depend on the nature of the substance and in the area of the exposed portion okay so the rate of heat energy as the rate of loss of heat energy is directly proportional to the difference in temperature it also depends on the area of the exposed portion and the nature of the substance okay so we got it as minus dq by dt equals k into t2 minus t1 from the specific heat you see what is specific heat of capacity dq by dt that is s is equal to dq by dt is equal to by m that is equal to specific heat capacity yes so dq will be equal to m s into dt so if i am substituting over the here instead of dq what i can substitute minus m s into dt by small letter d equals k into t2 minus t1 what is this capital t it is temperature small letter t is with respect to time okay so now i am taking capital t together and that other terms i am taking it to the opposite side okay so here it will be dt divided by t2 minus t1 that is equal to k by minus k by ms into dt like that we are getting okay now we are integrating both the sides integrating integral dt by t2 minus t1 that is equal to integral minus k by ms into dt okay while integrating dt by t2 minus t1 integral 1 by x dx what is that it is log x natural log 10 to the base log to the base e into x or we can write it as natural logarithm ln x also in which way you want like that we can you can represent so integral of 1 by x dx equals ln x or log to the base e into x so here what we here in the place of x what is there t2 minus t1 isn't it so we can write it as log to the base e into t2 minus t1 that is equal to minus k by ms is constant k is a constant proportionality constant m is the mass of the substance and s is the specific heat capacity isn't it so all these are constants so we can take it outside integral dt integral dt is t total time required okay now for changing the log i can take the exponential so i am taking the exponents on exponents on both the sides both the sides what we will get e to the power log x e to the power log x will be equal to x okay this also you should learn okay e to the power log x is x so it is t2 minus t1 e to the power log t2 minus t1 so exponential of log t2 minus t1 is t2 minus t1 only is equal to minus kt by ms here we missed out one term why because minus k by ms integral dt is t i told you but if there is no uh, limits what we should add we should add a constant with that okay so plus constant okay so we will get it as t2 will be equal to t1 plus e to the power minus kt by ms plus c so understood this is newton's law of cooling mathematical derivation so from this what we are understanding that see log t2 minus t1 is equal to minus k by ms in, into t plus c okay so that is if we are considering this one we are we can see that this is in the form of a yes negative term negative it is exponentially decreasing term t2 minus t1 is equal to e to the power minus kt by ms plus c a constant c t2 
T2 is the final temperature. That is equal to T1. It is a constant initial temperature. That is plus e to the power minus kT by ms plus c. That is difference in temperature will be exponentially decreasing. Exponentially minus kT by ms. Minus means negative. That is decreasing. So difference in temperature is exponentially decreasing. Okay, that is the, so difference in temperature is exponentially decreasing in the sense as temperature, as time increases, difference in temperature will be exponentially decreasing. That means it is not a straight line growth, it is decrease also, it is an exponential decrease. Exponential decrease, how we can, uh, it's a represent, see, if I am taking a different temperature difference over here and time over here, I can see my graph will be like this. Okay, exponential decrease. Okay, this will be the exponential decrease graph. Okay, so it will be like this. Okay, it will be decreasing like this. Okay, it's a straight line means you know it is a y is equal to mx plus c in that manner it will come. So it is exponentially decreasing graph. That means initially and all it, it will be increased very fast. After that very slowly only it will be decreasing. Okay, so to reach the reaching to the no, this room temperature, it will take time. That is Newton's law of cooling. The rate of heat loss is directly proportional to the difference in temperature. You understood how we are finding out this uh, uh, mathematical derivation clear and this graph also very important. So now we are going to do one experiment for uh, solving this Newton's law of cooling. Actually that experiment is there for your practicals also. Maybe in your schools and all they will do this Newton's law of cooling experiments they will uh, make you to do. So at that time you will be uh, thorough with that. I will explain you how to do that experiment. Okay. Now next is experimental verification. Experimental verification of this Newton's law of cooling. For that, we are first we are going to consider a double walled vessel. See, it's like this. A double walled vessel and it is filled with water. Okay, and it is attached with a calorimeter. Calorimeter is connected with that. Here water is there. Here one thermometer also kept. Here we are keeping one thermometer and it is water. Okay. And here this also closed. In calorimeter we know it has a stirrer. So it will be like this. A stirrer will be here and a thermometer also here. So this is a thermometer here and this also closed. Okay. Now here inside the calorimeter we are considering hot water. Okay. We are considering hot water inside the calorimeter. So this is the calorimeter and this is a double walled vessel V. Okay. And here we are taking calorimeter. So what we are doing is we are this is at we are considering this as T1 and this as T2. Okay. Here we are going to consider the we are going to note down the temperature in equal interval of time. T2 and T1 we are finding out. Okay. T2 we will find out at the same time we will find out T1 in equal intervals of time. Okay. Then we will be calculating log to the base E T2 minus T1. Okay, and temperature, this uh, time also we will note down. Okay, we, in the interval of time also it's there with us, isn't it? So we will be noting down these things and then we will draw a graph. Log to the base E, T2 minus T1 and this is time. So we can see that we will be getting a straight line graph like this, decreasing graph. Now, why it is a straight line? Previously, we told it is exponentially decreasing, right? So, what was the formula? T2 is equal to T1 plus e to the power minus kT by ms plus c. This was the formula, right? So, it is exponentially decreasing, I told you. 
yes it was there be represented for t2 minus t1 is equal to e to the power minus kt by ms plus c there we learned for this delta t versus time so it is exponentially decreasing but here it is log to the base t2 minus t1 then it will be it is decreasing graph with respect to it's a straight line so here i am considering log to the base e t2 minus t1 means e to the power log e to the power minus kt by ms what it will be minus kt by ms plus c dash uh, another constant we will get okay so here if it is log t2 minus t1 divided then t graph we are drawing means we will be getting a decreasing graph minus kt by ms isn't it slope is decreasing decreasing with respect to time so it is a decreasing graph so here in the case of newton's law of cooling you should understand that rate of heat loss is directly proportional to the difference in temperature okay clear so it's a very small portion that was left out over there so i hope all of you understood all those things and in the next video i'll be starting with the thermodynamics okay so after finishing all the portions we will start with the numerical questions and all we will continue I like that okay so first i thought i'll so the, this and all easy chapters not that much into into details and all it's not required for your cbse exam or your board exam it's not required for that much okay so and uh, along with that i'll continue with the multiple choice questions also now it, now that pattern had changed right so i'll start the multiple choice questions and one more questions first let me finish the portion because uh, now exams are nearby you will be your exams will be starting in february or something okay so so that's all for today i hope all of you understood all those things and if you have any doubts please respond through comment box okay then thank you for watching bye